it's good to see you all virtually. I'm a little sad that we can't all be together right now. Um, so, as most of you know, I am an early childhood educator and have been for a few years now and um, have a really big passion for teaching the little people. This week is actually kind of a little bit special. NACI, the National Association for the Education of Young Children, actually puts on each year a week called the Week of the Young Child. And it's all about just getting the word out there um, about how important it is to educate young children. Um, but today, specifically for the Week of the Young Child, is Music Monday. And those of you who have got to witness my teaching know that I love to incorporate singing all day long in the classroom. Um, I mean, every moment I can. It's even a way just to develop relationships with my students, to all just put their names in songs. And there's lots of different things that you can do even beyond singing, though. Um, music is a great way to talk about patterns, to point out things in your daily life, to help develop routines, and learning how to wash your hands to a song, uh, all kinds of fun things. You can even use music just to explore life around you. Um, a really fun thing to do, then I'm sure all of us have done it at some point in our life, is just to get out our pots and pans and some wooden spoons and different things and just play the drums and make up our own little songs. Um, a lot of times in my classroom or when I'm babysitting, um, we'll just have dance parties, just throw on the music and just be as silly as possible. It's just a fun way to get out the wiggles and just laugh together. Um, now I wanted to show you guys this little book called Rock and Roll Mole. So it's super cute. It's about this little mole and how he kind of has to deal with some stage fright. So we'll get started reading a little story. Rock and Roll Mole. And this book is written the pic, written by Carolyn Crimmy, and then the pictures are by Lynn Munsinger. Rock and Roll Mole. Mole had a rock and roll soul. He woke up each morning yelling, Let's rock the house! He wore a leather jacket even in the summer, and shades, even at night. And he could strut, just like his idol, Mick Badger. At school, three chicks followed him around. They screamed, oh, mole, in their tweety voices. Your jacket is so cool, his best friend Pig often told him. I love your shades, Raccoon always said. Oh yeah, Mole had style all right. When he was alone, he could strut, snarl, and play guitar like a legend. But the thought of performing in front of others made him shake his shades. Shake in his shades. Pig was the only one who had ever heard him play. You're awesome, Pig said. You should play in front of the whole school. Mole didn't say anything. It was one thing to play in front of Pig, but the whole school? No way. Pig already had an idea, though. He wanted to put on a talent show. Raccoon could torch the crowd with his extreme skateboard stunts. The chicks would rip it up with their sweet songbird voices. Pig knew some smooth dance moves. He positively sizzled. And Mole, everybody knew what he could do. You'll rule the stage with your guitar, said Pig. Um, yeah, said Mole. It'll be platinum. Oh, Mole, you're really going to play for us? All three chicks fainted on the spot. Look at Mole. He doesn't look as excited as Pig and the chicks. Hmm. But that night, Mole worried. He stared at his posters of Moo Too and Goose Springsteen. What if I'm no good, he wondered. But they were, like, just posters. So they couldn't answer him. The next morning, Mole got up early to practice. He tried strumming his guitar, but his paws shook. He tried strutting across the room, but his legs wobbled. 
tried screaming out a song, but his voice cracked. Poor mole. At school, the chicks cried, ooh, mole, but he barely heard them. They swooned and he stepped right over them. Before he went to sleep that night, Mole stashed his leather jacket and his shades under his bed. He even took down his posters. I'm not going to do Pig's stupid show, he mumbled. I quit. The next day, Mole broke the news to Pig. Pig's tail uncurled. You have to do it. We've already told everyone, Mole shrugged. Sorry, he said. I just can't. Can you at least help me get everything ready? Pig asked. Okay, said Mole. But I'm not playing. No way. Mole and Pig worked on the show every day after school. They sold tickets to all the animals in town. I hope everything goes okay, Pig said. Just hang loose, Mole said. It'll be platinum, dude. But the night of the show, Pig was sweating more than usual. My iPod is broken. I don't have any music. What am I supposed to, how am I supposed to dance? Mole looked at his best friend's worried face. He knew what he should do. I'll be right back, he said. Mole ran to his house and got his guitar. He put on his shades and his leather jacket. Just hang loose, he told himself. But when he pictured the audience, he started to shake. Then he thought of Pig. He gave himself a little rattle, and finally he was ready to roll. Pig's face brightened when he saw a mole. I knew you'd come through. From backstage, Mole and Pig watched until it was their turn. Let's give it up for Mole and Pig, cried Raccoon. Mole jumped onto the stage. He tried to swagger. He stumbled. Then he fell. The audience stared. Mole stared back. I'm doomed, he thought. Hang loose, whispered Pig. Mole gulped. He took a deep breath. Then he sprang back and struck a pose. Let's rock this house! Mole cranked, he burned, he scorched the stage with his fierce, funky sounds. Ooh, Mole, screamed the chicks. He played and sang like the supersonic grew delicious rock star that he was. He strutted and snarled and ripped and roared while Pig shimmed and shook his bad pink self. Everyone clapped and stomped and screamed when Mole and Pig took their bows. We really showed them who's boss, said Pig. Mole smiled. Pig, we were pure platinum. The end. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun talking about rock and roll, Mole and doing other fun music activities today. Thanks everyone, love you.